I would describe Calarosi as one of the many small communities that make up the Central Valley. This community is comprised of primarily Mexicans and Filipinos. You know, it's about 15 minutes away from Dinuva, about 45 minutes from Fresno, and about 30 minutes away from Visalia. Majority of the individuals that live here work in ag, whether it's working in dairies, harvesting fruits, or in the packing houses. You know, honestly, I'm glad I grew up here. I can't really imagine growing up anywhere else. Coming out of this town, into this community, it really humbles you. One of my favorite memories growing up here as a child was, you know, kicking a can while going home. That's something that we would do to pass the time. My favorite part about living in Cutler Rossi is that there's a lot of back roads where you can go play outside and our streets, we don't really have a lot of busy roads, so we get to actually play outside a lot more than usual people back in, could be in Fresno because there's a lot more busy cars in that area. I wouldn't think I would live anywhere else because Cutler Rossi, for me, I think it's the best place to live. You know, I was exposed to a lot as a kid, like any other town, you know. It has its issues. You know, I grew up surrounded by gangs, violence, drugs, poverty, but I learned and grew from it. But it's not all bad here. One of the best things about growing up around here is the surroundings. You can literally drive a few minutes up the road and, you know, find a nice place to hang out. You know, driving, the back, you know, back roads are real nice. You can also go up to the foothills that we have right around the corner. We can't deny how nice it looks when you're up there. For the most part, it's probably something that's really unappreciated and a lot of people do that. You know, another thing about this town, it's really quiet. Not that much noise, relaxing. Something about the town as well is that nothing really changes here. There isn't a lot of commercial businesses that come here. If there's anything that I would suggest people to do while coming down to this town, it would be to stop at Esperanza's restaurant. It's one of the, it's one of those hole in the walls, places to come and eat. A lot of individuals out of this area come here to, just to eat there. It's really good food. You can't go wrong by stopping there through your commute here. So my grandparents opened up um, a restaurant called La Esperanza, meaning hope in English. What we're really known for is our chile verde, which is green sauce um, cooked with um, pork meat. We're really known for SB chips or SB fries or anything with chile verde. You can get like quesadillas, burritos, tacos. Yeah, but just anything with chile verde, that's what sells and that's what keeps the business running. One thing also about this town, which is kind of funny, is we have so many taco trucks. There's literally one in every corner. You know, so if you're really hungry, or laid out at night, you know that you can find something to eat if you're looking for tacos. It's always nice coming home to visit, not just because of, you know, not just because of family and friends that are here, but you know, it's, it feels like home. You know, you don't get the same sense anywhere else. Mm -hmm.